Hi everyone. It's been a while, I know, since I've uh, last posted a video, but I've got the wood-fired grill smoking for tonight's dinner and tonight's video, and it's going to be filet mignon uh, with uh, summer squash roasted on the smoker, and I'm going to do some baby uh, baby baked potatoes in the air fryer. So again, it may not be for everyone, but it's okay for me. Uh, I'm sorry I've been absent for a while. Uh, a lot of things going on uh, on this end. Not a lot of the videos that I've been, or a lot of the meals that I've been doing, uh, really haven't been that exciting to put on video. Uh, I've done, for instance, uh, the salmon, shrimp, and green beans. Uh, Turkey hot dogs with hamburgers on lettuce with some coleslaw. And uh, chicken tenders with broccoli. So those are just some of the things, typical things I've been doing. And I've posted some pictures. But anyway, uh, for tonight's dinner, it should be pretty simple. I'm going to try to make it simple. If you don't have a wood smoker like this, you can uh, just use a grill. And you can roast the summer squash in your oven. So, wow, I'm seeing flurries. It's supposed to be spring. <laughs> anyway, uh, a lot going on, like I said, in my life. And uh, some of it good, some of it not so good. But uh, it is what it is. So let's get to the making of the good food. And uh, happy to be uh, back with you. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a horseradish cream sauce to go with the beef. And this is uh, something that is just out of this world delicious. Very easy to make. I've got a half a cup of sour cream here. Uh, to that, I'm going to add <clears throat> two tablespoons of uh, horseradish, fresh horseradish that I have um, Squeeze the excess juice out of. I'm going to add two tablespoons of mayo. I measured out. A teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. And in here is a quarter teaspoon of salt, uh, an eighth of a teaspoon of black pepper and uh, one uh, teaspoon of chives, dried chives. So I'm going to kind of put all that there. And then we're going to mix. Now, if you like horseradish, like I do, if you love it, you can add more horseradish, depending to how, how, how much of a bite you want on it. And obviously, the longer this sits, the better it, it is with all the flavors melding together. But there we go with a simple horseradish. Mm. Delicious. Here I've got two beautiful filet mignons um, that I'm going to be grilling up. And what I want to do is season them, and it's going to be pretty simple. I'm going to use a little bit of sea salt. Just going to kind of sprinkle that on. Black pepper, if I get it right. There we go. And I'm going to use what I simply call a uh, steak rub. Steak rub. It's, uh, it's a mixture of different things that I have, which is uh, some prime rib rub, and I've got uh, some uh, ground instant coffee on here. But you can use whichever kind of rub or seasoning you want on your steaks. And I'm just going to kind of put that in a little bit. And I'll flip it. 
Mm, mm, mm. So tender. And go. And I'm just going to repeat it on this side here. A little bit of salt. A little bit of black pepper. Really, salt and pepper is all you really need, but uh, I'm going to put some steak rub on here. And after we grill these up, and I put just a little dab of that horseradish sauce on here. Ooh, boy. Mm, it's going to be uh, something pretty exciting. So I'm going to cover this with uh, saran wrap and our plastic wrap. And I'm just going to uh, let it sit at uh, room temp for uh, know, about a half an hour or so. Take the chill off of it and then we'll be ready for the grill. Now for the potatoes. If you don't want potatoes, that's fine. You don't have to have them, but I'm going to have a couple. So we've got these beautiful organic baby potatoes. And what I'm going to do is take a gallon-sized Ziploc bag, and I'm just going to dump them right into there. And to that, I'm going to get some olive oil spray, and give it a good coating. I'm going to add a little bit of sea salt. I'm going to add some granulated garlic because I like it. You can skip any of this if you don't like it. And black pepper. I just give it another little spray of olive oil. And you want to keep the bag kind of fluffed and zip it at the top so you've got a big air pocket. I'm just going to toss it around. Next up, I got my air fryer with the basket in it. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to put a little bit of parchment paper down into the bottom like so. And I'm going to dump the potatoes in and get it on one. Uh, I'm not going to stack any. It's all going to be just level on the bottom. So there we've got the seasoned potatoes with olive oil. And I'm going to, when it's time for dinner and the steaks and everything are going to start going on, uh, this will be 400 degrees and I figure right around 30 minutes. Next up is summer squash. A lot of different ways you can prepare this, a million different ways, different ways that you can cut it for roasting. Uh, you can slice it lengthwise into strips. You can put it on the grill. You can slice it thin and mix it in in a dish with some onion and zucchini and other things. Uh, or you can chunk it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to chunk it like it's going to go on a, a kebab. And so I'm going to cut it up so that it sits nicely on a uh, roasting sheet. And I'm just going to cover it with a little bit of um, olive oil and some salt and pepper, keeping it healthy. So let me move the camera down so that you can see kind of how I'm doing this. Okay, I uh, have cut up some squash. And what I did was, I cut it at angles. Um, so that you've got a, a large portion here and a thin portion here, so it just kind of rocks. And so we've just got like a bunch of wedges. All right, so we have our squash all cut and rocking on the pan. Spray it with a little olive oil. And then I'm just going to dust it with a little bit of salt. 
and a little bit of pepper. Now when the steaks are going on, this is going to go on with the steaks. Well, here we are at the smoker. I uh, started these about 10 minutes early because they are going to take a little bit longer. And I'm going to get the uh, beautiful steaks here. And I'm going to drop those right down. And the beautiful thing about the Traeger is that I don't have to flip this. So I'm going to get my temp probe. I'm going to put it into the center of the steak. Turn it on and I've got a remote inside that is uh, going to let me watch the temp from inside. And I'm going to set that right here. And as soon as that gets to the temp that I like, I'm going to pull it out. And you'll be here for it. Actually, we'll be inside. It's too cold out. Well, the little potatoes at 400 degrees in the air fryer for 30 minutes came out perfect. And what I'm going to show you here is that I have made many baked potatoes. Look at that. Is that not amazing? Oh, and they're so crunchy on the outside and so tender on the inside. It's amazing. It really is. Very happy with the results of that. The summer squash has just come off the grill. And it is so tender. Look at that. It's just absolutely lovely. A little bit of crisp on the outside, but really tender. Done wonderfully. And uh, what I'm going to do is just let those rest on their foil. Probably about another five minutes. And then I'm going to start plating up. I've got my steak. Slice a couple pieces here. And we'll get ready to plate. some of that beautiful summer squash. A few roasted potatoes. I'll take a little bit of that horseradish sauce. Put it right there. it off with a few more chives. And there you have tonight's dinner. Filet mignon with a horseradish cream sauce, roasted fingerling potatoes, and roasted uh, wood-fired summer squash. Try this out, shall we? Oh my, look how tender that is. I'm going to take just a little bit of that horseradish sauce.
Mm. Wow. The beef with that incredible sauce. Oh, it just breaks out so much flavor and the, the smoke that's in that. Oh my. That's just like a fiesta. Amazing. So good. All right. Let's try out the uh, summer squash. Wow. Just look at how tender that is. Again, you got that smokiness, you got a little bit of crisp on the edges, and it's just so wet, so tender inside that it's just all those fluids bursting that have been sealed inside by the heat. Um, just releasing like that. So very good, really is. And the baked potato. I just can't get over this. It's a wow. Just like a baked potato. <laughs> so good. What is there not to like about a baked potato? So anyway, um, wow, it's really good. <laughs> um, hope you're enjoying the video. It's been a while since I've uh, done one, as I mentioned before. Uh, I'll do what I can, the best that I can, to, to keep up with them. But I haven't forgotten you. I haven't given up. Uh, it's just a lot of things going on right now. So um, please try this. If you love horseradish, oh my God, that sauce is <laughs> to die for. So um, please give it a shot. And. Uh, uh, just not gonna go wrong. Oh, I got the little potatoes at uh, Big Y in the produce area. You'll see them there. Organic summer squash, regular is fine. <clears throat> and I love the meat there, so. <coughs> Have a great day. <coughs>